Hey everybody, in this video we are just going to take a quick look at how to set up mesh collisions in Unreal Engine. This is also so that I don't forget, because I'm just learning Unreal, been at it for about a month here, a few weeks to a month, and uh, yeah, some of these things, uh, you know, <laughs> there's so many things to remember. Sometimes it's a good idea to make a note of it somewhere. So I'm making video notes here for anybody else who might find this helpful. Let me just start by opening up a mesh. Where are, where are we? Speed tree. Speed tree is a great way to create trees, by the way, if you're just getting started to Unreal Engine. Speed trees look nice, and they uh, don't take too much load power as compared to some other of the nicer looking trees that I've been uh, experimenting with. Um, let's grab a tree here. That's a bush. That's all right. Let's grab a tree here. Here's a tree. Um, in order to edit the collisions on this this mesh, on this mesh, you can. It's very simple. All you need to do is open up your uh, static mesh, and uh, over here you'll have a couple of options. You'll have simple collision, and you'll have complex collision. Uh, you can't see it that well, uh, but right when I toggled on the simple collision, you might have noticed that little bounding box up here. So, simple collision. You see that little bounding box up here. So that's the capsule component, which I've decided is, is, is a good component for me to create uh, my collision. And you can actually add a couple of different uh, components to your, uh, to your mesh in order to create the boundary of collision. So um, what you need to do, very easy, is just head on over to the collisions menu up here. And there will be a variety of different types of collision options that you can add to your mesh. For example, if you have a, uh, a, a, a well, a square, or let's say a, let's say a beach ball uh, to, to implement, you might want to just grab a sphere. Actually, the sphere starts pretty big on my screen. So this right now would be the new collision of this particular tree. If I were to hop into this game right now and uh, try to run into this tree with this new collision, actually I may, may have needed to save it. I think I forgot to save it. Uh, yeah, and I don't remember now which tree that was, but Take my word for it, um, this is now the new boundary collision area. So what you can really do quite easily if you wanted to adjust the collision boundary is you, is you just scale it using one of the scaler tools. You can also set the grid snap here. Uh, if you notice that your uh, scaler is scaling too quickly up and down, for example, when I first started it was set to something like 0.5 and when you scale at that it'll make some really big grid snaps. So you you want to get to that fine scaling detail you can just adjust your grid snap like so like so I should say there we go and you get kind of a finer uh, finer degree of precision um, so you can use of course a number of geometrical shapes uh, you kind of want to think about what you want to be passable and what you want to be impassable on your particular object um, but your collision options are all up in here uh, there are a variety of different shapes that may suit your particular, uh, you know, object better. Um, I believe that Unreal Engine tries to create a basic sort of collision mesh around your your object, kind of based on what it what it is, I believe, and then you can kind of scale it as might be appropriate. In my case, I wanted the player to be all well, be able to walk all the way up to the tree itself, so I just dropped in a couple of capsule components. One here, one down here, and kind of created the blocking geometry, block off of geometry that I thought would be would be best. I wanted them to be able to pass through the tree branches, but not through the tree trunk. So that's kind of what I've created here. Um, the other thing is, I believe what you need to also do is uh, perhaps set use simple collision as complex, or if your project default uh, has that uh, already, and then it probably should be fine. Um, simple and complex. I'm not entirely sure what all these options do. Um, I've been using this one. It seems to be working fine. Some of the other ones may also work fine. Again, this is partially to remind myself of how to do this and also hopefully to help anybody else who might be wondering what this is all about. Now I believe there's an option to create a very precise, um, very precise, or let's say complex collision, I guess was what it's called. So let's see, use complex collision, there we go. So I think if I optioned on that, I would have a very complex uh, bound, well, boundary box of collision that probably takes more CPU to process, that sort of thing, more uh, processing power to actually run in your game, but of course gives you a much more precise boundary box. So in my case, that's not really 
uh, what I want. I just want to have a nice simple collision. So, but just to be aware that that option does exist. And if you, oh, wah, wah, wah. well, anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video.